goats back in what is this gold rush i'm in gold rush i'm doing gold rush things i'm my tent is held together with zip ties one of the greatest inventions ever made now everybody's been on my case about getting drilling done so we're gonna get drilling now i was gonna rent the driller oh i did do a couple of things uh because i needed that hydraulic hose so i got that hydraulic hose and installed it uh and while i was there i bought um two work lights to see if i can light this area when it gets dark so nothing big happened just that bought a couple electrical cords so for people who complain about oh you need to show everything no i don't and there it is i did those things off camera sue me i'm gonna die now the whole world's gonna end now so i, I was gonna go rent the machine because i have enough money to rent the machine but the problem i ran into was i can't bring the machine back to my property because i can i can only support two vehicles on the property at a time so i'd have to put one in storage and then pay to have it shipped and brought back and it's a whole thing but i did notice if i go to here and i go to look at this i can get workers and transport move your machines get no, i don't even know what this stuff is but i really what, what's this what does this do i don't even know but if we go to the bank and we go we get order drilling for 15 grand so we're gonna do that I now have less money and I don't know what's up, but let's, oh, what texture? Come on, get in there, buddy. Okay, let's see, um, gold map. Oh, here we go, okay. Okay, okay, so I think, whoa, there's a lot, there's a lot more gold here than I thought. No, what happens, oh, I can click on these, okay. Okay, okay, oh, oh my godness, oh my godness, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, but how do I know where these are in my parcel? I'm assuming this is where I am, I think. Okay, so what's this then? This is 5,000 grams of gold, 7,000, five, but this one here is 9,600 grams of gold, whatever that means. Um, and it looks like it may just kind of be this whole area. So I think... Like, I don't know how to determine where this is. So let's go take a look at the plot here. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Assuming a few things here. Now, ugh, let me through. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, this is. Okay, let me just look at my thing here. All right, so let me just go to my journals. Can I go to my gold map, please? All right, so I would assume that this is this area here, right? Can I, can I always have to go back to this now? Okay. So that would be over on this far side almost. I think this is where the wash plan and everything is, right about here, which means I'm digging kind of in this area a little bit. I think if I just moved over <laughs> like to this and started digging over here. Um, yeah, I think we could do it because it's, it's not too far from the edge. The problem is I can't tell where 193 is. Like if it told me where I was standing, then maybe, but like, okay. So like, I think it's like, I think that would put that right about like here ish area, maybe. Is that? Oh, I don't know. Well, this is where we're going to dig right in this little hill here. If we can get the tractors and the truck up here because we've kind of mutilated the ground around it. Um, <laughs> okay. So yeah, but I don't know. Cause this says it's like, this is huge here. So. I think there's no like ugh, this is such a pain. There's no like it's right before the narrow spot, right? Yeah. So like right before I get to the narrow spot of it, which means the narrow spot would be here, right? So it's got to be like this area ish. So we're going to give it a shot anyway. I, look at these different colored grounds, man. Blows my mind. All right. So um, it's got to be kind of in this area. So we're going to give it a shot. But first, I got to see if I can even get the equipment over here because 
I can probably go around the edge. And I don't know how well that front end loader is going to work stripping off top layers. Like, it's one thing to be down in a hole and doing it. It's a whole other thing to be way up there. So let's get this thing uh, shuffled over there. Let's see. We also have to find a good spot to put it, which is always a butt with this thing because it's it, it steers funny and it's I don't like these articulating I'm pretty sure like articulation in, in trucks like this should be bad no I'm kidding it's this fine um I think like where do I want to put it like right on the edge maybe like right over here and then we'll just kind of like s scoop off this top layer I don't know we're gonna find out anyway <sighs> So I'm just going to park this like this. Does this make sense to everybody else? Probably not. Someone's going to pop in and say, you're in the completely wrong spot. You don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do these each mark? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so could each... Oh, probably not, isn't it? I was going to see if each one of those marks a edge of a zone. All we got to do is come over one, two, three, four. Bam. Right? So if this, each one of these edge of a zone, there's one, two, three, and this would be the fourth one, but there's no, so like I said, the top of this hill, maybe that's what we're doing. Screw it. We're doing it right now. Screw this. Oh my God. Injuries. Ugh. You can't, I don't think you can get injured in the game. If you can, I haven't found a way yet. They should add that. All right. Let's see here. Okay, buddy. It's going to be really hard for you to crawl out of here, but we're going to, we're going to give it our best. Okay, I gotta remember my controls. We're a little off on the controls today. All right, here we go. Can we squeeze through here, do you think? It's probably a bad idea. I'll just go forward here. But we're gonna give it a shot, because, like, what's the worst that could happen? We find less gold than we did, and we go back to our old, old mining techniques. But I'm gonna try to scoop the top off this hill, maybe? So let's just see if that's even possible first. Come on, baby. Oh, did he even get any? Oh, I got a little bit. Hmm, this may not be possible. <laughs> this may not be. Can I, can I lower it even more? Okay. That's not a lot. Okay, we'll keep tackling it, though. There's got to be a way to... Once we get a hole started, it's it should be easier, right? But until then, we're going to be stuck with this little bit of dirt right here. But I don't want to waste it either, in case it is good gold dirt. I'm probably not correct about that, but... Oh, how much is that? 1%. Nice. Okay, perfect. All right. I want to get this on a specific angle. And it's going to be hard. Like I said, it would be easier if I had the, the excavator, I think. No, oh, it's scooping. It's scraping. It's scraping the top layer off. Oh yeah, buddy. Is this is it full? Oh my god, it's full. Now this is going to require some creative maneuvering to get this. You know what I'll do? Actually, I think I'll just back the truck up because it makes more sense than trying to maneuver this thing around where we're going to be digging a hole here. Okay, let's just back this up. All right. Oh, it's backing itself up at the moment. There we go. Let's just put it right about Nyaw, maybe? Is Nyaw, is this a good spot? Okay. And parking brake. All right. So just to double check the map, like this is, let's see, this, this whole area looks like it's not terrible. I got the truck, you know what? Let's just go for it. Like what, again, what's the worst that happens, right? I think, like I said, the excavator might be easier for this, but currently that's not an option. So we're going to use this. Once I figure out how to get it into here without killing it. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. And down. All right, let's just... 
get that up. Okay. And whoa, okay, don't ram okay, we're ramming the truck. Yeehaw! Get it, baby! This is how you make little trucks. Okay, there, there we go. Things are not going to plan. Alright, here we are. Okay, well now I might time lapse this. How uh uh Daggerwind does with his farming because I'm trying to find the happy median here where Oh no. Oh no. Come on, baby. Wiggle your way out of there. Because people get upset if I take too much digging, and then people get upset if, if I don't show it all. So I'm trying to find like that in between. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. What are you What are you doing here? You should You should be scooping. Okay, let's just try to get that top layer off. Why won't, why won't this dig? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, it's getting stuck. Oh, no, it's all falling out. I didn't tip it up enough. Eh, well, you know what? Whatever. I just got to get, like I said, I just got to get some of the dirt out of here. Now, someone said that if I dig too close to the top, or the bottom, the stuff that falls down doesn't get recognized. So we're going to try to avoid some of that. Yeah, but I'll dig, you know what, I'll do a, a clean out of here. And I will try to do something about the time lapse. Okay, so that's the first part of this. Now I gotta go turn this on because I have filled the hopper and it needs, well, it needs to be turned up. So do I got all my buckets and everything in place? I hope I do. I got all my mats. Everything is, everything's good. I think, I think we're good here. Okay, let's fire you up. Let's start you. All right. Now we're gonna go turn on all this. You ready? Start. Now, do these lights come on automatically, or do I gotta do I gotta flip them on? Oh, look at that! I got a nice bright setup now. Beautiful. Okay. So that's gonna. Oh, there we go. It's it's shuffling through. Perfect. There we go. Let's keep going. And uh, again, I'll time lapse this until that's got to be cleaned out, and then we'll. Uh... It's going to be a while because this is like 20 or 30 minutes of digging. So I'll time lapse at least some of it 
So we can, this is an awful hole. We got to figure out how to get this hole flatter because I'm struggling to get the truck in and out. But, uh, okay, there we go. Let's start this back up. Maybe I won't time lapse it right now. Let's just have some fun digging. I like, I like trying to master the, the tools here. But it's it's not as easy as it looks. I, I tell you, like people give me shit for not using a, a controller. But boy, if I was doing this as a controller, it'd be even worse. You know what's a good example of my controller usage? If you go back and watch my Beam NG series from, oh God, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I use a controller in that game just to prove to you how bad I am at using a controller. Ugh, come on, baby. Don't get, it's getting stuck. Ugh. Come on. Oh, it's full now. Come on. There we go. Might take some of that top layer off. I wish you could just kind of scrape, you know? That's probably what the bulldozer's for, I'd assume. It's probably for smoothing things out, most likely. Okay. Oh, no. We're backing up. Ugh. If someone asks me why I always put my parking brake on when I'm loading and dumping, it's because of that. Sometimes it'll just start rolling away. Okay. Let's, uh, let's dig it right here. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it, baby. Come on. Just... Dude, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on. Come on. Let's lift that thing up. Duplex jig pump has been destroyed. Well, that's surprising me. What do you mean the duplex jig pump has been destroyed? Oh, my God. This is just my luck. All right, let's see. Duplex jig pump. I don't even know what a duplex jig is. Which one are those? Oh yeah, here it is, right there. Look at that. Oof. All right, shut her down, boys. Shut her down. Boy, that didn't take long. We're two minutes into this. All right, shut her, shut her all down, boys. We got problems. Let's shut her down. Okay, engine stop. So, what happened? The duplex jig pump got all. Oh, so, where, where's the pump on the duplex jig? Oh, oh, that's the thing that's broken right there. Inspect. Okay, what's this one at then? Oh my god, these are all going to blow out on me. Oh my god. What? Why won't let me inspect you? So they're all at five. This one's at one. So how do I get it out? That is a very good question. Is it this? Is it the... Oh, oh, okay. Well... Um, yeah, the duplex jig pump is shot. And it looks like the other ones are going to go too. So I'm assuming we go to the, the shop. Oh no. Here we go. We need four of them. It looks like, um, I'm not sure what these things are worth, but I'm pretty sure I can't afford four of them. Jeez. That's a big unit, man. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hop down to the store. Uh, I'll meet you there. Okay, we're at the store. I brought it with me just so I remember what it looks like. It's pretty easy to recognize now that I'm looking at it, but duplex jig pump. Oh, there you are. What are you worth? Oh my God, you're worth 1200 bucks? And I need four of you. Well, I'm going to need four of you. So let's... Oh my God. Can I afford this? It's got to be close, right? I got $135 left. But at least I could sell off the old, the old pumps. Jesus. If anything else breaks, we are so screwed. Well, we got a little bit of gold sitting in the machines, but uh, I think it's a matter of now. I think what I got to do in order to save my machines is don't run them constantly while I'm doing other things. I think it's a matter of filling that thing up once, turning it off. Um. Oh, yeah. Got to start it. There we go. And then running it till it's done and then shutting it off again. I think it's just running it. I, I was hoping running it constantly would damage it. 
but it would sa it would save me enough by just you know doing my thing. But those other ones are about to blow out, and I I don't have time. I don't have the money. I have one hundred thirty five dollars to my name. I can't even put gas in my truck. Well, I can because I got gas on my phone. Shut up. <laughs> just I gotta make like fifty grand by the end of the day. If I don't, I won't be able to afford all my rental equipment. And I gotta imagine if those parts are that worn, other things are about to let go too. But for now, we're gonna use this and we're gonna get it rocking and rolling. So let's get back over there and we'll install this stuff. Okay, we're back, and now we're going to, this is the damage one, right? If I look at, can I, what's the inspection thing? Is it this? That's the broken one, right? These ones are at 100%. Excellent. So, let's just take this out and stick this one in. Do I got to do anything to it to stick it in, or is it? Oh, no, no, I don't want to detach. I want to put that back. All right, so I think we can just... What is it? Seven? Six. I think we can just remove these. I'm just going to set them down here so I know which ones are the bad ones. And then just, might as, like I said, we might as well replace them all because they're all going to be a problem here any minute. So, let's bring this one over here. Let's get the old, the old Krober out. Get the old Krober. Alright, where'd that... There we go. My goodness. You know, the things you go through to just get rich mining a little gold. Like, jeez. All right, we'll get rid of that one. All right, here we go. Let's just grab this last one. We'll stick it in. Then we'll run these down and see if they'll sell for like, you know, 10 or 15 bucks. I'd like to be able to afford lunch. Like, let's put it that way. Get, don't you get kicked away from me. These things look like giant, like, orbital brushes you would use for like buffing a car. Okay. You can go there, and then you can go there. Okay, let's go run these down and see if we can get, like, 10 bucks a piece for them or something. There we go. Come on, don't run over those jerry cans. We may need those one day. There we go. Okay, let's run them down here. Because you can, I find you can sell parts here. Oh, yeah, I bought an extra hydraulic hose, and I stuck it over there. You can see it on that shelf in case I needed it. Apparently, what I needed was duplex pumps. Get over there. Maybe they'll be worth like a buck or two. I don't know. They're not complete. Only one of them is completely broken. So let's see. Uh, nothing. Not worth a thing. Okay, great. We're going to confirm the sell for nothing. All right. Excellent. So now we're down to 135 bucks. There's no lunch unless we have, there's no Taco Bell in town. I looked. Uh, maybe you got two for Tuesday or something at, at uh, KFC if they had one. All right. Let's just park this. This is kind of out of the way, actually, right now. All right, let's get back to digging. I'm not going to turn that back on until I fill it up, and then I'm only going to run it now when I need to because it's obviously doing a lot more damage than I originally thought. So I'll get back to this. We'll fill this up again, and we'll see where this goes. But this is going to be great. Am I going to talk through this? Who knows? Am I going to fast loop it out? Who knows? The whole thing is a bit, a bit upsetting, you know? On the plus side, if we can get a ton of gold here, we may... Uh, oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Okay, not a full one, but close. If we can get a ton of gold out of this, maybe make 30 or 40 grand instead of the normal, like, 20, it won't be as big of a deal. Oh, and people always wonder why I don't start lowering my bucket when I'm backing up. I've started to, but sometimes I catch the edge of the uh, the truck uh, box. The okay, wait a minute. So we're going down lower. Can I just go after this top layer here a little bit? Oh yeah, I think I think we kind of did. Oh nice, perfect. 
because this hole's getting a little bit awkward to drive in. Yes, it's a backup beeper. Someone thought that was my horn, which I think is funny. All right, here we go. Apparently they come from a country that doesn't have required backup beepers on their heavy equipment. Let's see if we can get another scoop out of that top layer there. Ooh, oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, again, getting in and out of those holes is a bit of a buck, but other than that, it's not too bad. There we go. Perfect. Look at this. Every once in a while, I'll get it caught if I start doing it, and it'll like nearly flip the truck over, and it's great. All right, there we go. No, no, don't get stuck in the little hole. Now, people always say to me, you know, when I'm playing a game like this, they, like, they're surprised that stuff gets stuck so easy. And I'm like, have you ever driven a piece of equipment like this? Because I'll tell you, it is not that hard to get something this heavy stuck in. in even with even those big like excavators with their tracks and stuff, it's not hard to get them stuck. A little fun uh, scapegoat fact. My grandfather owned his own uh, construction business uh, when I was a kid. And one of the things he did was, like, install culverts and stuff under roads. And so he had a lot of this equipment. So I've seen a lot of it being used over the years. Ugh. I have to get that front dirt down a little bit, I think. No. It's just, it's just bumpy enough where I almost get stuck on the way out every time, but not quite. So see, 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 I'm tipping it over. I started lowering it down and this is what happens. Okay, here we go. We gotta go a little lower this time. See if we can get that lower front dirt there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Like that. Perfect. Scoop it up, buddy. Nice. Okay, so I still think the excavator would be easier, but I'm not sure it would be more efficient. Like, with the excavator, at least you can target um, deeper areas. Like this, I gotta dig all the way to the bottom. And that's kind of a pain, but, you know, it's not the worst. Okay, let's just get in there and... Ugh. Perfect. Alright, this should fill this up, I think, or at least get it close. Look at, I barely can get up this slope. It's great. Alright, now let's go put this in. Perfect. Okay, well let's just back this up slightly and stop it, turn off the engine. Is the parking brake on? Hope so. All right, let's go uh, turn you on, parking brake off. Let's go, okay, I'm too, why are you so close? Oh, the bucket's in the way, that's why I was so close. All right, excellent. So, what, what is, oh, I thought water was exploding over there. That's the, I, <laughs> I thought that was like an explosion, like a bad pipe. I was like, what now? But it's the, uh, it's the waterfall. <laughs> oh, okay, we're okay, we're okay. All right, here we go. Let's get this up in here like this. Good times. All right, parking brake on and let's dump. And then we'll uh, we'll go turn this on. And excellent. That thing doesn't work great. It gets stuck on there a little bit. All right, let's turn this off. Let's get out. Let's go fire everything up. We'll let it process through and then we'll uh, turn it all off and go back. All right, let's see. Start. Water, please. Lights, please. Okay. Uh -huh. Where's the... Oh, there. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. So let's wait till this runs out. And then we'll turn it back off again. That way we maybe save some of our things. Are these duplex jigs working? I hope so. It looks like they are. Okay, okay. This is going all right. You know what? Things could be a lot worse. It's very loud on this side of the of the of the of the plot, or parcel, as they say in this uh, in this game. Oh, how are we doing down here, boys? Oh, nice. Only five percent. Eh? I guess we got a. Well, I guess that's not bad. Oh yeah, that's not terrible. Okay, okay. 
So this is gonna go through each one. Oh, this is, yeah, this is like it's 1% at a time. Now, dumping it kind of sucks like that because you gotta like drive around and stuff, but it sure beats uh, scooping it one load at a time and bringing it up there. Twenty-one percent. Now I think it's got to run a little bit afterwards to get it all through the system, because this should put us at about thirty-eight percent. I think it does like nine or nineteen percent per full load. All right, two and one percent. Boom. So this is going to go thirty-eight, thirty-nine percent maybe. 37, 38. Yeah, everything hit 38. And I think that's the end of it. Okay, well, wait a minute, one of us still at 37. Oh, well, you know what? We'll live with it. All right, so let's turn this off. And I think that's gonna be our, um, our MO from this point forward because wasting all the machine just letting her run. That or I gotta get a lot faster and I'm not sure how that's gonna happen, but you know. Okay, oh, the truck. We gotta bring the truck back. Damn it, I forgot. Okay, come on truck. So we gotta do this a few more times before that's gonna be full. So let me do that. I'm gonna skip over because nobody wants to watch all that. Um, Because it's just gonna be me driving back and forth. Whoa, jeez, crackers. All right, here we go. So what I'll do is I will fill that up the rest of the way because you guys have seen it now. Oh. And I will, well then we'll do the clean out together and see what we end up with. See if we can get more than 120-ish uh, ounces of, or grams of gold, which seems to be my norm. So let's park this here and then we'll turn it off. Excellent. So yeah, I'll be right back. It'll seem like seconds for you and about 20 minutes for me. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're sitting at about 94, 95%. I think that's good enough. I'm just waiting for this to finish up. Okay, that's the end of that. I, like, any more is just going to be, like, losing pay dirt. So I'm just going to shut it all down. Well, I'm not going to shut it all down, but I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to leave that running. But I'm going to shut all the electricity down for a moment. Stop you. But I want this to keep running because I want to fill up my buckets. So, let me see here. Ugh. This is always a pain. Here we go. Boop. I grab another bucket. This is how I do it. I just use this uh, this this hose right here to fill up all my buckets before I go and do something. Then I'll shut it all down. We will uh, take it out, and we will start rinsing out and seeing what we got. But if I don't have water-filled buckets, it becomes a problem. I think this one's already filled with water. There we go. Perfect. Now I also need one empty bucket. Uh, which will be this one, I guess. All right, here we go. Okay, you're full. You're full. All right, so put you back here. We'll go shut the pump off. And then we'll do a cleanup. We'll see what is it. Like I said, it's not quite full, but... Ah, oh, the quiet. Okay. So let's get a bucket, and we'll start uh, start cleaning this puppy out. And then we'll... Okay, dude, give me my thing. I'm running hoses everywhere. There's problems everywhere. We all know it. No, no. Get in there. Oh, my God. Just just do the thing. So I'm glad you guys liked that VR content. That was really fun to make. It took a long time to record because I'm still trying to figure out how to record it. It's not easy because, like, the resolution is whatever eye you're on. <laughs> so um, it's, like, and each eye is, like, almost a square the way they do it. So it's not easy to get like a video out of it, uh, with, unless you edit it a bunch. All right, here we go. Perfect there, and then grab these. This is this whole process sucks. Uh, oh no. Okay, okay, this goes back, and then you can go over here with all this, and then these can all come out because they're just full. Gravel pumps available for twenty five percent discount. What? Who knows how many gravel pumps a man can use? All right, here we go. This one's full. That one's full. Okay, we'll take this one out of here and we'll grab the other one from the other side. These I like. No work. Okay. 
get that. All right, so what else? Oh, yeah, those ones up there. These ones suck because you can't do them all in one pass. All right, here we go. Down you go, and then we'll just do this. Back you go. This. Back you go. Grab that grate off there. We that was a little further than I wanted to toss it, but it'll do. And you can go there, and then you can go there. Perfect. All right, so let's grab those grates. Where did I throw them to? One ended up here. Perfect. Eh. No. Eh. Eh. There. Okay, where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. God, these things blend in so well. I wish I could paint them, like, white so I could see them. All right, here we go. Or yellow. All right, here we go. Bring this over here. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Uh, there, okay. There we are. Perfect. This gets cleaned out, and then we put this back, and then we put the grate. But one day I'm going to lose one of these grates, I know it, and I'm not going to be able to find it. Ugh, getting up here sucks. I don't, like, I don't understand. Like, am I just supposed to stand here at the side and do it? Is that, is that what it wants me to do? I think it makes this a little more accessible to get your gold out. Okay. And then this. And that finishes up that bucket. We'll put this screen. Oh, I had it. screen back on and then we can put you over here there's a lot to clean out you know like uh whoop, okay where are we gonna put you you can go there and then oh yeah just gotta get get this out here now what's nice about it one thing that's nice about it is if you do happen to drop it on your bucket it's not a big deal because you can do it right through the bucket so it's not it's not a major oh there's a plosive right there all right it's not a huge deal like that, see how it's on top of my bucket? You can do it like right through the bucket, just squeeze it through those those grates. I like how the game's so exact with some things and then other things, it's like, you know what? We don't care. Just it's like they got to the end of the production and we're like, you know what? I've had enough. I don't want to have to think about this anymore. Okay, you go there and then where's the other one go? You go there. Okay, perfect. Now you come out. Uh. Now why do I have one more thing of water here? Did I have No, I think, I think we're good here. We just needed the empty one, which was here. Which will allow us to go up here. Now, I think what you're supposed to do with this is you're supposed to leave this here and only do it um, every so many things because I don't feel like you have to do it every time. I think the bucket would handle it. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, that can go so much to do this with this little shovel here you know lift that grate up i could redesign this machine so much better okay perfect i like how this little shovel too can take all that dirt in two scoops i love it no don't change it developers i like it because it's fast but it's not realistic okay and then one more actually you know what maybe it does fill up pretty quick Okay, here we go. So this is in a completely new spot that I think we did get it drilled. Um, Lord knows if I was anywhere near the right spot, but I think I'm close. So hopefully this changes. So now what we're going to do is turn the water back on and just the electricity for the wave table and the, well, it's for, it's for the splitter, I think I got to do it. But I might turn the lights on as well. So let's see here. I want to turn on. power splitter and I want to turn on the two work lights just so we have them and then we're going to turn this pump on because we need which is a lot of water pressure for two tiny little things all right so let's go over here and check this out wow this is very bright now all right so let's uh let's dump this in here get some magnetite out of it nice And then we'll replace this gold bucket. All 
Okay. 1100. Okay, yeah, this is a better spot to dig for sure. Now let's let's uh, separate that out there. Then we'll put this one under here. Then we'll grab another one. Oh, I can do multiples here. Why don't I do multiples? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, it was only 466, that one. 85 gold. Because we had no gold going into this, so... We'll see how much, uh, see how much we're done. Okay. Gonna take you out and stick you in there. And then you can go back under there for now. You can go in there. Oh yeah, grab another one. I think it's about 30% each one fills. Ooh, don't want to risk that. Only 17, eh? There we go. Come on. There we go, some more of that. And then this. And then, oopsie, and then that can go under there like this. And then this. Come on, baby. There we go. I can go under there, and then... Is this full? This is full. You can go there. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, it's going to be so close. Come on. The one bucket had a thousand in it. That's crazy. Of magnetite. Of magnetite. Nothing else. There we go. 67, 70... 80, 90, 100. Okay. Boy, this thing just keeps going and going and going. Look at it go. So we're way over our normal amount that we would get on a normal day. Oh my God, just go in the hole. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, and that can go in there. Perfect, all right. I think that's everything. At least I think it is. This is still processing. We've got 300 grams of gold from all this. That's not bad. Like, considering, like, it's only going to net me probably about 15 grand, but that pays for the dig anyway, or the drill out. Let's see. Nice. Let's go turn all this off for a second. First of all, you don't need to be vibrating, and you can be stopped uh, before all this becomes a problem. There we go. Now, that bucket is 8% full of magnetite, but I don't have my magnetite trailer anymore. I had to sell it. Stop that. There we go. We'll shut this down. Okay. Stop. All right. Okay. So we got 310 grams of gold from all that. 
that's not horrific. That is not horrific at all. And if you look at the gold map, I think, like I said, I think I'm digging in kind of ish the right area. Like that's a good one there. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. So this whole area, I think here is a fairly well, the gold distribution. So, yeah, so we, we're like in the, in the, like this category, cause we're, this isn't a great spot to go. So, you know what? I don't think we're in a bad spot. I think we could be a lot toggle square. What does what toggle square mean? Okay. Oh, and this is just that. Okay. I can zoom in with my mouse wheel. So I think we're on to something here with the drilling, uh, having found a little more gold than normal. Like normally I get like 120 to 150 and I got 300. So we doubled it relatively easily. I think the problem is at this point is I'm moving backwards when I need to be moving that way. I think this way would be the better way to go. Maybe start down here and just scoop all this out towards that and then spread out kind of this way. You know what I mean? At least that's what I'm, I'm thinking anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll see, but I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe tell your friends to subscribe, get your dog, your horse, your cow, your mouse, your what's up here, your donkeys, um, chickens, uh, your rodeo clowns, maybe to, uh, to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber. Cause I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get scapegoat. Out.